Hi everybody, welcome back. Thank you so much for watching. I finally have an update for my Project 20 Pan Roulette. I have been waiting to do this for a long time and I finally have the time. Things have ended with the play that I was last in, although I've taken on the job of directing the next show. So might be a little bit crazy, but anyway, I'm trying to catch up on as many of my updates as I possibly can. So all right, as of my last update, which I believe was the first update for this project, I had finished two out of my 20 items from my roulette. So I've actually finished quite a few more products and I'm really, really happy about it. So I'm going to show you the products that I have finished first. The first item is the Benefit They Are Real push-up liner. I did not like this, guys. I, I wanted to like it because I liked the style of the applicator and uh, I just found it really dry and the formula really difficult to work with the way that it was packaged. You could definitely use it more like a gel liner with a separate brush and it applied decently but what's the point of having it in this packaging if you have to use a different way to apply it. I don't really like gel eyeliners for that reason. I really like the pen type so I'm glad that I tried it because it seemed like something that I would like. However, it's definitely not something that I'm going to be repurchasing. Um, I've used the Kat Von D liquid liner and the Stila liquid liner um, and the Stila one is definitely my favorite by far. I want to have all of those colors because I love the packaging, I love the formula, it's perfect. I would definitely recommend that liquid liner over the Benefit They're Real. I finished the Rimmel Moisture Renew, the transparent lip liner. This is just, it was white, it was clear. Um, I really liked this a lot and I would definitely be going out to purchase one if I didn't already have another similar lip liner. I have one from Urban Decay. Quite a difference in price point. So having recently finished this one, it'll be interesting to compare that one to this one. I really liked using this to clean up any edges um, especially when I was using a more dark dramatic lip color and also as a lip liner for um, more dramatic lip colors that I didn't have a match for because sometimes um, I like to use a corresponding lip liner or something a little bit similar or just layering you know so this was really good for that sometimes I would just kind of use this as a lip primer as well to try and get more use out of it to use it more frequently kind of using it as a lip base so that worked pretty well I definitely really liked this I definitely see the need for a lip liner like this it definitely worked very well so i will potentially purchase this again depending on what i think of the urban decay one which i'm going to be using next i finished the hard candy sheer envy primer this is the illuminating primer i was not really crazy about this talk about a glitter bomb glitter 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 everywhere I kind of liked it when I would use a more full coverage foundation on top of it because then just a little bit of the glitter would peek out from underneath and I kind of liked that effect but using a sheer foundation on top of this was a nightmare. It was really like the junior high dances all over again. Just really tacky I guess. I finished one of the lipsticks. I finished the Stila um, Color Balm lipstick in Sonia which I used a little bit of a lip brush and then I got frustrated with it and I was like, no, okay, it's done. I'm not going to try to dig it out. I, d I don't plan on repurchasing this color. It's a nice shade. It's a nice formula. Just I have other sort of burgundy, vampy shades that I like a lot better than this one. So that's the reason why I wouldn't I wouldn't purchase this one. This is a deluxe sample size. So this is the reason why I wouldn't purchase the full size of this. I just have other shades that I like better, other formulas for a darker, vampier lip than I like than this. Um, I used it by reapplying as much as I possibly could. I also mixed and matched it with a couple of other things um, to lighten it up. I actually purchased the Blanc lip crayon from Bite, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's a white lip crayon, same or similar formula to their other lip crayons, and it's intended to be used for mixing with other 
lip products to lighten them up and it really did a great job at that. That way I could sheer this out a little bit, make it a little bit lighter and I've been doing that a lot with a lot of the dip different lip products that I have. The last item I have finished is the Too Faced Candlelight Powder. I'm so happy I finished this one. Um, as I had mentioned previously, I was crumbling up the little bit that was remaining to use a sort of a loose powder and that worked so much better for me, especially with a more dense brush. It did at times make my skin look a little bit too glittery if I was a little too heavy handed with it. I, I don't think I really need a product that's super glittery. I really like glitter and shimmer, but I think I'm going to stick with highlighter and even, you know, like liquid illuminators and stuff because that works better for me. And this is too sheer to use as a highlight, but as an overall face powder, I just felt like it was a little bit too much sometimes. So it's not something that I would reach for on a daily basis, which makes it not really worth it for me to have it in my collection. So that leaves me with 13 products still in this challenge, which isn't too bad. Um, I still have the Studio Fix from MAC, the powder. I'm doing an okay job with this. It's just taking forever to use up. I am trying, and I just, I gotta try harder, I guess. The L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base, I just used this. I actually filmed a tutorial um, with this makeup look which will either be up just before or just after this video and I mean I've made progress definitely with this primer but I've definitely noticed because I like it so much I'm using it sparingly because it's one of those things that I thought that I was going to just you know suffer through using it up and then kind of move on with my life but I've really grown to like it and as it's something that I would want to repurchase I'm definitely stretching out the use of it a lot more. I still have the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. There's a lot less in here than the last time for sure, but these things take forever to get through. I feel like I'm going to have to cut it open pretty soon to get more product out of here. Um, I just, I love this eye primer. I will keep on using it as long as I possibly can. It is fantastic, works so well. The Smashbox Always Sharp um, Waterproof Cool Liner in Raven. I've made a bit of progress with this. I don't want to push it up too much because I don't know if I can push it back, but I'm getting there slowly but surely. It's a little bit of a stiffer formula, so it's a little bit harder to use than some of the other eyeliners that I like. I really haven't used my Dior eyeshadow in Gold Touch much at all. I've been just concentrating on the eyeshadows that are in my project pan, so this one has been neglected. I've made some pretty good progress on the liquid blushes. This one is probably down to about here. Now I definitely like this shade. This is the Rimmel um, Stay Blushed in Peach Flush. It's, it's a beautiful shade. And the e.l.f. one in Headliner, I'm getting there. It's taking a long time, as you can imagine, but I have I have faith that I will I will finish these guys. The Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal is another one that I'm kind of taking my time with, not because I necessarily want to purchase the shade. I think the shade is too dark for me, but just because I do like it, and I am curious to see if they have a liquid version of Pearl, which I would be all over. I just haven't even researched that yet because I don't even want to be tempted. I have a few other liquid highlighters to go through, so that should motivate me to finish this one, actually. I just have to keep reminding myself how the other ones I have, and then I can look into getting something like Pearl if it exists to mix with foundation because I think that would be perfect. And then my other lip products. Um, the only one I have some real progress on is the L'Oreal one. So it's a not as creamy as a lip product, so it's a little bit difficult to use. So I've been struggling with that one a little bit. Um, the Kat Von D in Dora, like no real progress on this guy. I've only used it maybe once or twice. Um, same with the um, Marc Jacobs one once or twice. I find it a little bit difficult to use red lipsticks. I just, I'm not a red lipstick person. The Revlon Calibros Matte Balm, same thing. I've used this a handful of times. And I've used this quite often, the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, but it's still, it's still hanging on. It's still hanging on somehow. Um, it's a very beautiful 
soft pink shade and it looks really beautiful on the lips. I really love the formula of these soft matte lip creams. So slowly but surely working away at all those. I have a couple of new projects coming up that I'm really excited about and looking forward to sharing with you guys. I still have a ton more updates to share with you guys on my other various projects. I have a lot of catching up to you, so I thank you for sticking with me and for supporting me through this journey. This has been so much fun, and I really love watching other people's videos. It's definitely been incredibly motivating this year because I will watch other people's videos and see their amazing progress, and then I will see people's comments on their videos, which I will use as motivation for myself because I'll see people go, oh my god, you're the best at like this kind of project, and I want to be like, yeah, but wait until I crush it. Like it sounds so weird, but I just that motivates me, I guess, because there are some other people who are doing fantastic jobs this year as well with their projects and they're using up so many items and that motivates me more. That puts the fire under me. I'm going to be successful this year and so far so good. I'm feeling really great about it and I'm feeling really great about this project. I've really enjoyed doing a roulette. It's been a lot of fun. I definitely want to do a roulette in the future. So let me know if you have any requests for videos that you would like to see from me. I will do my very best to accommodate those wishes. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye.